What's up everybody, this is Mike, welcome back to another video. So today I will be trying out the brand new night mode for this drone right here, the Mavic 3 Classic. Luckily, it's not available only on the Mavic 3 Classic, so if you have a regular Mavic 3, you also have the chance to use night mode. Uh, as long as you update to the latest firmware uh, on the Mavic 3, you should be able to access this new night mode. Luckily, I managed to find some time and go out there and shoot some videos for you guys to not only demonstrate night mode in action, but also to compare it to regular video, the, the one that you can shoot on the Mavic 3 Classic and also on the regular Mavic 3. And I think the results are quite impressive, so I cannot wait to dig into the video and show you everything that I found out as well as some small tips and tricks and my advices for flying at night. Some things that you should consider if you want to take out your Mavic 3 and fly at night. Let's go. So first things first, like I said, in order to access night mode, you need to make sure that you're running the latest firmware update on your Mavic 3, whether it's the classic or the regular Mavic 3, make sure you check for firmware updates just so you know that you're on the latest version. Now, when you successfully update to the latest version of your firmware, you will have the chance to choose night mode in your video options and you will immediately see the difference that it makes to use that mode. Now, usually when you fly at night using an ISO of 1600, 3200 or even 6400 uh, is the norm and usually if you select the highest ISO available which is 6400 you will have a lot of grain a lot of noise and the footage just doesn't look good in my opinion uh, especially if you don't have too much light around and you really need that high ISO of 6400 you will have pretty bad results in my opinion and a lot of grain in your footage of course you can apply some noise reduction uh, in your editing software of choice however it's still not ideal it really depends on what software you're using if you use neat video the neat plugin uh, it gives pretty good results but it's a paid plugin and not everyone wants to pay for noise reduction uh, plugins and to it's very very slow as well so what you can do now if you're running the latest firmware is to enter night mode uh, which gives you an extra boost of your ISO. So now the maximum ISO is 12,800, which is double uh, the previous ISO of 6,400. And now there is a algorithm that applies noise reduction to your footage automatically. So when it gets saved to your SD card, it's already clean and without any noise in it, which is pretty impressive since you don't have to do anything. And you will immediately see the difference between a footage that was shot in ISO of 3200 or 6400 and then the footage shot on ISO of 12800 with the noise reduction applied to it automatically from DJI. Now there is a little trade-off and that is that now the maximum resolution in night mode is 4K 30 frames per second instead of the 5K 50 frames per second which was the previous maximum resolution and frame rate for regular video. However, I really think it's a good trade-off for that clean, quick and easy workflow for shooting at night because the results are pretty good and I think uh, that's the feature that I'll be using every single time when I fly at night. I'm noticing that there is a little bit too much uh, cleanliness, uh, a little bit too much noise reduction applied to the footage so it kind of looks soft and lacks a little bit of detail. That is something that you have to compromise with if you want to have that automatic noise reduction being applied to your footage. It is just a way of how noise reduction works on your footage, so it kind of loses some detail. Uh, it really depends on what area, where you're shooting, how much light you have around, uh, but still you will definitely lose a little bit of detail. So you might want to add a little bit of sharpening in, in post in your editing software. Of course, adding sharpness is a lot quicker, a lot easier than adding noise reduction yourself. So it is something that you need to consider if you uh, want to use night mode, it's better to combine it with a little bit of sharpening in post, just so you can have a little bit more uh, sharp and clarity inside your footage, more details that otherwise will be lost from that noise reduction. There are a few tips that I want to share with you when it comes to flying at night because as you guys know, flying at night is a lot more 
dangerous because you don't have that visibility that you normally have during daytime. Uh, there are some small things that if you don't do right, you can damage your drone, you can crash it or hurt someone. So there are some things that I want to share with you to make your night flying a little bit safer and more pleasant in general. The first thing is that you need to thoroughly inspect the area where you plan to take off before you even take the drone out of your bag because there might be some power lines, some branches that you normally don't see, uh, some little obstacles that are hidden and it's a lot more dangerous to take off from a place that you don't really see that well. I did um, a little mistake when I tried night mode. There was a tree that I I thought I see everything from the tree, but there was a little branch that was just hanging over uh, the place where I was planning to take off and I almost hit that uh, branch with the drone. So make sure you have a clear area around you where you can take off from very safely and make sure there are no obstacles, power lines, branches, everything that you can hit with the drone while taking off. Of course, the next thing is to always make sure that you have a visual line of sight when you're flying at night. This is quite easy to do because when it's completely dark outside, it's very, very easy to notice the bright uh, green and red lights from the drone. It's also very easy to determine which side of the drone is the front one, which side is the back one by, by the lights themselves, the green and the red ones. And of course, when there is no bright sunlight, you will definitely see the drone straight away when you look up in the sky. As long as you have visual line of sight and you don't go behind any obstacles, you will see the drone at all times and that makes it really easy and safe to, to fly at night in my opinion. So make sure you keep that visual line of sight and you'll be good to go. The next tip is to properly select the right settings for shooting video with your drone, making sure that you're always using the widest aperture possible, which on the Mavic 3 is f2.8. Set up your white balance. A good tip for properly selecting the right white balance is to go up in the air, let the drone hover, go into the white balance settings and set your white balance to auto. That will make sure that the drone will set the right white balance for that specific area and then after the drone has set the white balance you can set it to manual so it doesn't go back to anything else when you turn the drone around and you will have a proper white balance that works well for this exact environment. If you are experiencing flickering in your footage, make sure you select the right shutter speed for your area to avoid flickering from the lights around you. In Europe, it's 1 over 50th of a second that completely removes any flicker. If you're in the US, it's probably 1 over 60th of a second. Uh, make sure you play with that and you will see right away on the screen of your phone or on the screen of your remote uh, if there is any flicker or not. And the final tip I have for you is to set one of the customizable buttons on the back of your remote controller to turn on or off the auxiliary LED light from your drone. This will make sure that if you go to a place that you think is too dark and you're not sure if there's any obstacle or anything that you might hit, you can easily and quickly turn on that LED light which is super bright and you will see what's under the drone so you can avoid any potential crashes. Those are the things I wanted to share with you in today's video. Don't forget to let me know if you have enjoyed the video by clicking on the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. This is Mike from Drone Supremacy. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.